afternoon. I'm going to put this up on Gumroad. It's a uh, little scroller, outro scroller, that I did a couple of months back, at, mainly because I wanted to push Keynote and see how far you could uh, push it to get everything out of it. So I'm going to deconstruct this a little bit and show you how I did it, because I think it's kind of cool that you can make things like this on the Keynote without having to learn like something overwhelmingly complicated like motion. I tend to always go for like free software and then push it to see what I can get out of it. I really want to learn motion, but I just can't invest the mental capacity to do it. I will at one point, I'm sure, but I've just not got to that yet. All right, let's uh, let's take a look inside of this file then. So my idea was is that I wanted a parallax kind of effects side scroller, and I could take this a little bit further, but I kind of I kind of tricked a lot of this. So this is kind of what it looks like. You can see like we've got a animated layer along the bottom and then you've got these three lines that are going in different trajectories left or right at different speeds. And they also fade out at the end of each one. Now in Keynote there's no native ways to do that. So it try I tried to kind of get my head around how I could do it. Now I can improve a lot of this because I could actually make it more parallax as well. You probably can't hear a word I'm saying because I've got the sound music going. So I'll have to turn the music down as I do this, uh, as I do the recording. But that's kind of what it looks like. It's a little outro uh, for carrier waves. It's kind of like a little, um, just showing you all the different Steam accounts for the Humble projects, the savings account and the projects that we're working on. I even reached out on SoundCloud to this uh, Saturday's, um, by uh, sorry, Liot, and I reached out to Saturdays on Saturn as well and asked them if I could use the song. And uh, they really liked the outro and stuff because I sent it to them once it was done. So let's unpack it a little bit. What I did for this bottom part is a bit of trickery actually. This is two side by side parts of a GIF that I downloaded from Giphy. So if you just run that, you can see how that works, and then I kind of lined them up. So that they would line up perfectly together with, and not look weird uh, on the scene. That took a little bit of doing, obviously. I think it was somewhere around... Where is it now? I will know now. I would have to dig it out. But it was somewhere around here that I put it together. Let's see if I can do undo move. Undo move. I have to do Z, Z, Z. By the way, just like keep on using that Z key to get back to where you were. So I had two bits of that that I took from Giphy, and I put that at the bottom. Now you'll notice in this that they're, they're kind of blurred out, the lines are blurred out. So what I did is I picked up the color, and I made little blocks for each one. So each one of these is a little block, right? Now I'm only actually animating the top three here. So this is where it gets really difficult and time consuming, consuming is that there's a lot of invisible components in this. So for instance, on the on the right hand side here you can see this um, text field which if I double click on it it's it's kind of massive it goes off screen so you have to like zoom out let me just zoom out you can see that the text files are completely like off the screen and they they kind of scroll in so what I've done there is and this took lots of tinkering by the way so what I did there is I put that slightly off screen, right? And then I'm kind of animating it. So if I look at the build action on this, you can see that that text moves and it moves from a position really far off the X axis and then the duration is 30 seconds. So that is a certain speed. So if I, if I run that, you can see that it's slowly going, slowly going across. That's this top one, right? So that's that's all well and good. If I take this out though, this block here, that's my this block here is the color of that bar, but then a gradient to it. So if we go to the format, you can see what I did is I have the solid color on the right hand side of it going to basically transparent on the left. So what that does is it gives me if I just run this now you'll see that it, you don't get that effect of it like blending in. Once it gets to the other side, to the left side, you'll see it blends in and disappears, which is kind of a nice effect. This whole situation of putting this 
on the top and getting it precisely right on the line is a really is a big pain right like it's a nightmare because the problem in Kino is you have to con you have to put layers uh, in front of each other or you have to put the text behind so you have a lot of tinkering around and playing around to, to get that right so you can see there it's slightly out of whack so that took a little bit of doing the actual animation itself is fairly straightforward so all I'm doing is I'm moving that text from off screen towards um, this side so if we actually go on to the move uh, thing itself the actual action uh, and we do change or yeah if we do change I think if I double click it I can't remember how to get to where I was going to on this build order uh, there you go alright so you can see on this one what I've done is pulled the actual this red part this is where the actual line's going to go to so if I for instance if I did it like this you'll see what happens is that the line will slowly go down right it follows that line off the page so you could actually try and have these kind of alternating different lines like intersecting each other over the top of each other you could go really like hardcore with it but uh this took me actually quite a while to do because i don't think kino is really designed for for doing that kind of stuff really but you can see how those two bottom pieces are kind of like now in sync and all it was is that i i made sure that that edge was uh, perfectly in line with that one and then you can't really see it I think that's probably gonna be a little bit out of whack you see how just that little bit of a line throws it out you can see it so you have to get you have to get that precisely right I couldn't find a a 720 a full HD version of this but if there was anything I would change it would be the quality of that piece at the bottom now you can't even see the line so it just looks like one big animation but it just goes to show that you can really if you push it, you can really like get some cool stuff out of Keynote. I'm going to put this file up on Gumroad so people can download it and play with it to their heart's content. And uh, maybe you can make some little parallaxed animations. Drifting slow.